Here on the Norfolk coast, Blakeney Freshers is one of the country's best sites in terms of the bird life. For example, in the reed bed, there's bitterns, marsh harriers and water rails. On the 5th of December, um, we had a tidal surge here on the east coast and there was a huge volume of water came in that caused collapse of at least 30 places of the sea wall that was protecting the low-lying freshwater grazing marsh. The entire area was inundated by up to about two metres of water. Instead of fresh water being there, there was an entire sea behind the sea wall that had a massive impact on the wildlife that lives on the fresh water. It's just changed the site dramatically, including the loss of grassland and being replaced with bank material and shingle material. Now the water's receded, there's been a lot of salt water left in the ditches um, and that has implications for future grazing as well as the wildlife recovery of the site. There's some measures that we're doing now to help look after the site for this year. So as well as monitoring salinity, then there's a new habitat that's been created that will attract a different type of bird to breed here. So what we can do at the moment is to put up fences and keep that area disturbance free. Blakeney Freshers is a really good case study. There's a real opportunity to look at National Trust policy and adaptation in process in terms of do we just reinstate fully to exactly what was here before the surge or do we look into some sort of aspect of adaptation. It's not just the wildlife that's important here. The National Trail is located here and is really important for the local community and for tourism to the area too. So there's lots of different stakeholders all coming together to look at what might be possible, not only to increase its resilience to climate change in the future, but also to maintain all the different interests as well as environmental for which the site is important.